prayers, mantras, or lyrics, written by a truly holy person, through whom the primal source speaks, are extremely powerful. And this is so, because they combined specific sounds together to make celestial sentences. And these sounds power up a person's magnetic field. The most powerful mantra I know of is the Mool Mantra, written by Guru Nanak. This mantra reveals the nature of the cosmos. It is as follows. Ekonkar, Satanam, Kartapurk, Nervo, Nerved, Akal Murit, Ajuni, Saipang, Karparsat, Jap, Ad such, Jugad such, Habi such, Nanko CB such. There is one reality, the origin and the source of everything. When there was nothing, there was one. When Ik becomes the creative principle, it is Onkar. Onkar manifests as visible and invisible phenomenon. The creative principle is not separate from the created. The sustaining principle of Ik is Satnam, the true name. Ik, Onkar, is creator and doer of everything. Ik, Onkar, is without fear, because, there is nothing but, Ik, Onkar. Ik, Onkar, is without jealousy, because, there is only, Ik, Onkar. Ik, Onkar, is beyond time, and yet exists. Ik, Onkar, does not condense to birth, all birth, and death are within Ik Onkar. Ik Onkar exists on its own, by its own, and is sovereign. Ik Onkar expresses itself through God manifest, known as Satguru, through the Lord's grace and mercy. This happens. Chant. True. In the primal beginning. True. Through the different epochs. True. Here. And now. Forever true. Says Nanak. The Mool Mantra is a brief description of God, and these combinations of sounds will strengthen a person's magnetic field. A strong magnetic field is the key to a good life. Every person, thing, and place emanates a magnetic field, or what some might call an aura, and a person's magnetic field influences his or her thoughts, actions, health, luck, and the type of experiences, an individual, will attract. The stronger a person's aura, the higher degree of positivity, an individual will encounter. And the stronger the magnetic field, the less, negative experiences, are able to influence, the subtle nature, of an individual. The human being, has two natures, the physical, and the subtle and the latter, can be influenced, by sounds and vibrations. Since the physical, and the subtle, are interrelated, a change in the invisible component of a person, naturally influences, the physical half of the human. Everything in existence, was first a metaphysical thing. Then the physical dimension, evolved from it, and all material things, exist within the parameters, of their subtle essence. The mystics of the world, past and present, are able to perceive the invisible nature of existence. 
and they can also influence this essence. If a mystic wishes to influence a material thing, he or she first manipulates the subtle essence, the invisible component, to everything that exists, rests in what some call the astral plane. This plane of existence occupies the same space as the material. If a mystic desires to, for example, heal a sick person, the mystic will enter the astral plane and repair the subtle nature of the person to heal their physical component. All prayers, mantras, or lyrics, written by a truly holy person, through whom the primal source speaks, are extremely powerful. And this is so, because they combined specific sounds together to make celestial sentences, and these sounds power up a person's magnetic field. If you would like to learn more, please read the book, Sikhi Secrets, available through Amazon.com.